Hello everyone, so time for another Varnay review. This one is going to be the model 1923. Now to start off with, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and follow along because we do all these reviews of frames, but we also do a lot of the more technical stuff on lens design and some tips on frame care. So you can check out those playlists, but also please subscribe if that's something you're interested in. If not, I've been rambling for 20 seconds for no reason because you don't care about any of that. And on to what you are actually here for, the review and overview of the model 1923. So this is one that is a little bit more updated cat eye shape. They have recently released one that's a more vintage cat eye shape. We'll link that card up here when that video is up. Yeah, anyways, focus. So this one is not one of their newer designs, and you'll see that if you've watched some of the newer videos on Varnay, you'll see the older temple design here does not have that V actually integrated into it, but rather it is the classic skiing V there in the temple. Now this one in particular, I'm really fond of the acetate this is made out of. I've seen this more and more in frames recently. This is an updated colorway, but not an updated frame. So this, all this stuff gets a little bit tricky. It does use their newer hinges though, which confuses me, but that's another story. Anyway, I guess they didn't want to retool all of it. Focus. <laughs> so what we've got here is this nice milky pink finish. It's not entirely translucent. It's not entirely opaque, but it has just that nice little ghosting where you can see that temple color. Picks up a little bit of the wearer's skin tone. As you can see when I put this one on, it darkens down just a little bit but not significantly. And that's what's really nice about these milky colorways. They will pick up just a little bit of the wearer's tone, and you can see there, of course, there's something behind it where my hand is, but it's not extremely noticeable. So it's a good way to get that soft kind of milky color, of course, in the frame without getting something totally, totally transparent or totally out there in some weird way. You can still see that really cool gold temple core and again, with all these, you've still got that very nice five barrel hinge. Of course, if hinges are something you're interested in, we'll link a card up here, and you can check out a video about all the different types of hinge designs out there, or at least the important ones that you'll see the most commonly. As far as the frame itself, again, this is a little bit more modern cat eye. You don't have that really vintage, way outside pull. It is just a very nice, soft, I guess you'd call this more of an ovalistic cat eye. So it doesn't have that more flamboyant pull to the outer edges, but it does have that very subtle throw to that original cat eye. Now this is, again, not one of the newer frames. Fairly basic, and you have a little bit of a relief there on the bridge, but it's not a deep, really solid cut. You'll see on my nose where I've got a little bit more flare, it doesn't sit down quite flush. Still fits pretty well, still feels comfortable, but of course nothing like the Amsterdam you see me wearing with that deep panoscopic cut and a nice bit of sit where it comes down perfectly on my bridge. Now for me, that's a better thing. For some people, this is gonna fit better on. It's just gonna vary depending exactly on how your nose is made, how it was designed, however many years ago that was. Anyway, so. That is kind of the brief overview on this one, and this to me isn't one that's a particular standout in the collection, but it is a nice, subtle, kind of an everyday pair of sunglasses. What is cool with these, this was kind of their introduction of the gradient lenses. Now that's something we've not really seen Varnay do before, so I am glad to see them throw something out there like that. This is a category two gradient, so it's not super dark. You can be wearing these, go into the supermarket, do your shopping, whatever as long as you've got your mask and gloves on right now because that's apparently a thing we do now. Uh, yeah. So, you can leave the sunglasses on even over the mask anyway. There you go. So you can still do your shopping, you can still look cool because you can still see out of these even indoors with a crazy bright light up in one spot. Yeah. But that gradient is, again, a nice touch. This is their gray gradient. They've been introducing it in more and more lens and shape designs across their frame collection. I hope we do see more of that because tints and gradients have really been a trending thing even in fashion eyewear, not even in sunglasses, just normal indoor everyday wear. We're seeing more and more and more requests for tints. So I think something like this for just the fashion aspect of it is a great option for those people that you know, maybe you don't have prescription glasses and you don't want to go to an ophthalmologist and pay two, three hundred dollars for a lens just to get that tinted look when you can buy something 
ready-made with that and still be able to wear it indoors. I think it's a great option. We'll get into some more of their glasses as they release more stuff with that gradient lenses. I'll kind of keep you guys updated on that as I can. As for the 1923, I will call it quits because we're almost to 2023. What? Is that even a thing? Apparently it is. But if you liked this video, let me down let me know down below. If you loved this frame, I will put a link down in it where you can buy it from me if that is something you're interested in. Otherwise, continue on about your day and have fun and keep looking for that perfect pair of sunglasses. Hopefully, I'll see you guys again.